Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, create a parametric study using ANSYS Fluent um, inside the ANSYS Workbench. Um, if you have followed the previous videos, we have created this um, geometry, uh, actually we are um, simulating this um, um, problem in um, ANSYS Fluent. We have a main flow with uh, 0.4 meter per second uh, and temperature is 20 Celsius and uh, there's a mixing elbow or mixing um, branch with 1.2 meter per second um, velocity, inlet velocity and temperature to 40 Celsius. So um, to do the parametric study let's just uh, um, the input parameters um, we will choose the uh, inlet temperature and um, inlet velocity and um, effect of that um, to those two parameters on the um, outlet temperature. So uh, I, if I go back to the um, fluent so let's go to boundary condition and um, we are going to the inlet small and according to um, our previous setup the uh, inlet velocity uh, the magnitude is 1.2 meter per second so we can click here and create new inlet parameter so let's name this um, inlet velocity so the value will be uh, 1.2 click OK then for the temperature let's um, create another new parameter called inlet underscore temp and click OK then click OK so um, let's go to the report definition um, so we define the um, max outlet temperature we can study the max outlet temperature or we can create a new report and um, new um, area weighted average so let's do the temperature on the outlet and outlet average temperature and let's report to the file plot print to console and uh, create the output parameter so when you click OK close uh, you can go down here in the fluent and check the parameters we have two inlet parameters and one outlet parameters here like the average temperature and the two inlet parameters are inlet temperature and inlet velocity so uh, we will go back to workbench and when you define the parameters um, automatically you will see uh, we are having this arrows with the parameter set and um, if you double click on this parameter set so you will see uh, this window so this window um, here this window this outline of the parameters so we have um, in the input parameters called p1 p2 which is inlet velocity and inlet temperature so for the inlet temperature you can uh, have um, different um, you can select your uh, units but uh, by default uh, ANSYS will create the outlet temperature as Kelvin so you can um, copy and um, convert this um, Kelvin or you can um, define a new uh, like um, parameter dependent parameter to parameter number three so we can define this uh, value as P3 minus minus 273.15 and here you need to define the um, the unit so the unit will be Kelvin but we know that uh, this is uh, kinda uh, let's do the average outlet T underscore Celsius Okay, so this is Kelvin, but we know that this is Celsius, so it's kind of uh, because it's kind of, um, the parameter is uh, the type is temperature, so it will automatically consider as Kelvin here. So we to be um, like um, to make our job easier, so we know that this is Celsius, it will convert automatically. So um, let's go um, here. We want to do 
and study the and let's say velocity from one presenter one point um, two um, one point four and um, velocity one again temperature let's do thirty um, and let's keep the temperature one point two and like and we had we had 40 so let's do 50 so we, we have like four um, design points they call in ANSYS so what uh, which are we have this uh, sign here which means that they are not updated so uh, what we can do is um, click here and um, update all design points so if we do the check mark here it will keep all the uh, solving data um, all, all, all the um, it will um, um, behave like as individual cases uh, for the fluent but if we don't check mark here it will get only the these numbers and not save the data so when you have a um, large number of files or the the, uh, the size of the files are big and you just need these numbers so you don't need to check mark these so I will um, check couple of these to show you how they will work so um, I will do um, update all design points so yes and we can see the progress here progress bar it says that updating the setup components for design points zero if you go to the fluent you can see that it's kind of updating here and it will update and run uh, one by one so I will uh, wait and uh, fast forward this part and um, get back to you when uh, it's done now all the um, simulations are done and um, you can see there's a, a check mark here for um, all of the um, design points so uh, as you can see as we increase the um, inlet um, velocity with um, same temperature um, it affects the um, outlet temperature but not that much because um, as the velocity increases the outlet temperature um, increases so we have more um, turbulence and better mixing so maybe because of that it's kind of creating but um, since they all of the um, all, uh, all of the uh, water goes from the outlet this uh, small difference is ne uh, negligible for um, this simulation but you can see as we increase from 30 uh, to 50 we have 21 22 and then 23 so we can see the effect of the inlet temperature so this is just a um, sample um, a parametric study so you can see that this is a design point zero is current so we check mark these so we have all we have all of the data so you we can go to results and um, check the results for um, that um, current design point so if um, let me first um, draw a plane um, x okay this is x y plane so I will hide this plane and create a counter um, on the that plane counter of temperature um, let's do local 20 so you can see this um, um, temperature um, starts from um, li like starts from the small inlet and mixes with the fluid so um, if you close this results and go to the workbench and parametric set so to check the results of the let's say in the temperature of 50 we need to right click on this one and set as current so you can see here it's uh, it's current now so it's loaded the data for this simulation so if we double click on the results um, and open the results for that um, simulation set and uh, we will see the results uh, for this design point so 
um, uh, only um, the, the only thing you need to make sure that every time you want to um, change the design point you need to um, close the results because it's kind of will uh, mix up the, uh, the files and sometimes you will encounter an error so um, the other thing um, the, the um, fluent is not only the part you can do the parametric study for example you can go um, to meshing and uh, set one of the mesh uh, parameters on uh, as the inlet in input parameters uh, like the uh, fluent and um, check for example the outlet temperature um, as the out, um, output parameter for influence or you can um, change something define a, a dimension in geometry as a parameter and a study effect of that um, geometry parameter on outlet temperature or other um, parameters from fluent so um, I will try to have a video on optimizing the shape and then you can see um, that's um, how, how to do that uh, parametric study with the geometry and um, or meshing so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel for uh, more tutorials and uh, more videos. Thank you.